بركة تواعد هنا يلا هنا ولا حاجة مش عارف ايه فاهم كده Good morning, Rabbi Yisrael. Okay, today is a special week. We that's the week of Pesach Shein and Nishtak and Fachal. Even if a person was Tomei, Kolchem, Nishtak and Fachal, and the next week Mitz Hashem is Lag Boimer. So we're getting into this very very time to Hoid Shabahoid the Kabbalah Satoyda, Pnimiya Satoyda. Anyone that wants to join us for the Lag Bayma Parade, it's out of this world. The parade is beautiful. Um, you have to just uh, let me know if you want a seat, if you want to reserve a seat. Um, also, next week after the uh, parade, anyone that wants to drive out to the island at the farm in Riverhead uh, Bazaar. You guys, anyone has a car here? You guys have a car? You have access to a car? It might be. Okay, that's worthwhile to, to yeah. come. Yeah, it's really nice. It has a beautiful farm. Where is that? On Riverhead. Riverhead? The other an end of it, about an hour and a half drive, yes. Will there be organized transportation? No, to ask around. Maybe. There's a lot of people that are going. Okay, like I don't know who. I also don't know. But when they get it. We're going to ask around. And if people, the, anyone that wants to come to that Lag Bima Parade, to reserve a seat, I must know. And also, Zarach uh, on the farm would like to know how many people are coming, so please let us know. Okay. A woman called me up this was last week, and she said that she is um, she's a guardian for a, for a woman in Manhattan. And uh, she's uh, in distress. Now this woman just told her that she signed papers to have cremation done. So uh, she asked me if I can call that person. So I don't know. I don't know anyone in this thing. I, I just this woman that's calling me once called me years ago. Her father passed away. Dulavaya, something else. Like I, I, I don't know them, but she is Jewish. Everyone here is Jewish. I said no problem. Tell your friend you should expect a call. I'm going to call. So I called a friend, and she picks up the phone. Uh, like, you know, with an attitude you can imagine. Uh, I said, I'm very sorry. Um, I, I know it feels like I'm intruding in your life, but, um, um, you know, your friend gave me your number. I know you're expecting my call. Um, is it a good time to talk? No, 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 it's not a good time to talk. About that. But anyway, I'm not religious. And anyway, I read an article from a Reform rabbi, and I'm Reform, and the Reform rabbi says, that it's kosher to do a cremation. That's not too So, um, <laughs> so, oh, good morning, Menachem. Good morning, good morning. Yeah. <laughs> Rabbi had a son in law who's in the cremation business. <laughs> so, um, I was thinking, you know, it's a lishitosi. You know, it's alumnus here. A lot of the things that uh, that to do with burial has to do with the belief of tchis amesim, but these guys don't believe in tchis amesim anyway. It's funny because they, what do you mean they have a rabbi that says it's kosher or not kosher? If they don't believe in the rabbanish lolem, how could something be kosher and not kosher? It's very hard. I, I don't understand. That's hard for me to understand. How uh, how does a reform rabbi? Make a, a formulate the psak din. If nothing is absolute, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But anyway, subjective morals. Uh huh. Uh huh. Who's who's speaking here? Uh huh. Okay. Anyway, uh, a story. Here's a story. Um, Aker in Shapesach at a fabrengen. Long, long fabrengen. It's a very long fabrengen. And at the end of the fabrengen, the Rebbe was talking with, with, with great 
a pain about uh, his about you know what's going on in Israel. It's interesting. It's 1970. There were talks about um, the security of Eretz Yisrael, um, about me Yehudi, all these things that the Rebbe bothered a lot. And the Rebbe writes, the Rebbe said at the end of Fabrengen, um First, of, before we start the sikha, I want to say uh, a little commercial break. This morning, uh, we want to dedicate the shir for our dear Kaver. Sason Chai Ben Naima, that he should have a full shlema, he should be healthy. But Amachi Vorev, Shasagidov, today was a little shvach, the minion and everything, because Sason was not here. Sason is here, everything goes good, everything is Gishmir. So we need him. The Talgis all needs a song. It should be gesund. You should have a full shleima, and should come back. It should live many healthy, long years. Should be makabel play mishir tzedkein. So the Rebbe said, "I already, I already got so many people agitated. I got the, I got the, I, I got the politicians in Washington agitated, and in Israel they're upset at me that I'm telling them what to do. The Arabs are angry right now. The Goyim are upset." So I might as well, if everyone's upset, upset at me, I'm going to throw in one more thing that's on my mind. This is a long fabreng, and this is, you know, like three o'clock in the morning already. And the Rebbe spoke about a certain story, an incident. So, I, and now it's not 1970. Was that from Mr. Pesos? Yeah. He began it, like, what time? That uh, would be, 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 be after Menchah, the Bawash. We'll start to bring him. For bring him, we'd go to Kosher Brocha. We'd go to four o'clock in the morning, oh, five yeah, o'clock sometimes. I mean, that's special Brocha, but he stopped bringing him. It was a very long for bring I don't know exactly when it finished, but it finished very late. So, um, the Rebbe told the story. The Rebbe told the story, and the Rebbe doesn't tell the story. The Rebbe just says that, um, that there was someone that threw a, a reform sitter on the floor, and he was being disciplined, and he apologized. And the Rebbe said he did the wrong thing. By apologizing. By apologizing, exactly. He did the wrong thing by apologizing. Yes. Yeah, you got it. So I'm wondering who it was. Like, you know, it's a story. It happened. But I can't go back in memory to 1970 because uh, I wasn't born yet in 1970. Well, what's the difference between the Arsenal and the Midwest? I was born in 73. <laughs> Shem Hashem, Hashem. Oh, Hashem Hashem. So, what's the Rebbe talking about? First of all, what, what's what, what's the story? Whatever, what happened over here? What, what's the story? What's the Matthias? So, Health to Abish, to my son-in-law, Shmuley Tzaitlin, is uh, told me that uh, he wants to learn the same Sikha, so we're on the same schedule. So, when I have a Kasha, he has a Kasha, we, we, so I told him, Shmuley, you know, you learned the Sikha, uh, he said, well, the kids are keeping me up at night. I don't get that much of a chance. But you know what? This is the Sikha. I learned the Sikha. Um, he said, I did a quick search. In two minutes, I already got I got an article, Jerusalem Post. I got a few articles. Here's the gist. The Knesset committee decided last night to discipline an Orthodox rabbi, M.K., who spat at a reform prayer book during the debate on the law of return amendment in the House last week. Rabbi Menachem Porush of the Agudas Yisrael will be barred from attending one Knesset plenium session for this behavior. Rabbi Porush apologized afterwards and asked that the matter be considered closed. But Speaker Ruven Market insisted that the House Committee take disciplinary action against him. So what? Uh, you didn't hear the beginning of the story, but I believe that I will. I will make a copy of the article in the Jerusalem Post. Believe that I'll try to post it in the in the in the dvartoy I send down on Thursday night. Believe that. So we know we say as kids, we say the Orthodox when the Orthodox make a bracha, they bracha to Hashem's name. By conservatives, a bracha to I don't know. By reformers, bracha to I don't care. <laughs> so, so that's the story. So that was the story. So now you get the background of the story. Now I want to give you a little more background here. So it was about the right of, it was in the middle of a debate about the right of return. And, and the, the reform have been agitating to have a say in what's going on in Israel for a long time. The, the funny, the, the strange thing is that they took out from the Siddha Velishlai Mircha. They didn't believe they're, they're vehemently anti Zionist. 
So why are you trying to influence what's going on in Israel? But that's the way they are. Um, the, 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 it's very, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a sad thing about, the, you know, that they're trying, it, it's coming out now, like that the Israeli in the, in the, in the army, unfortunately, uh, this, what's going on, it's, it's terrible. Um, uh, what, what, you know, there's all these foreign entities that are trying to make connections with the high brass and, the, you know, there's these uh, think tanks and institutions and foundations and they have uh and and they're you know and they're giving they're spending a lot of money on the high brass in the uh israeli army to have influence it's it's mind-boggling what's going on and it's similar to what's going on in Amer american universities uh like uh the 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 the, the, the they you know, left the, us anyway the high-ranking idf avoid no but that is i and uh, no not true. The, the, it wasn't historically. It was not that way. Historically, after they went out of the army, is when when they they wanted to join, but not while they were in the military. This is a new phenomenon, and it's frightening. And it's it, it, and this is really what has to do with what happened to Simchas Torah, where where the prime minister of Israel was not even aware at the first moments of what happened, apparently, because the military didn't tell. It, there's really a lot of rot. There's a lot of rotten things going on. But there are outside entities that are trying to have influence. It's similar to what's happening in the United States of America. You know, the top 10 donors to American University. Do you know who the top donor is? China. Qatar. The second one is China. You know who the 10th on the list is? Sure. Soros. No, the Palestinian Authority. They have apparently money. They're yeah. giving they're, they're yeah. giving in the, in the millions, in the millions and the millions all over America. They're yeah. giving to American universities. Mine's top 10. Top 10 is Qatar, there's Qatar, China, Iran, United Arab, no, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, and 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 then and the Palestinian Authority, they have money apparently, they're living a good life, the people are paying a lot of taxes there. It's working, huh? it's, working. it's working, yeah. So anyway, I'm sorry, we get a little off topic, back on topic. So the the so apparently there was a debate about the loan return. Menachem Porush was from the founders of the Haredi um, uh, political parties. I mean, he's from the founders of the Gudi Sisrael party. Uh, so um, his he has a son. He has a son. Uh, Menachem Porush uh, has a son, a uh, mayor Porush, who's today uh, one of the. Uh, one of the members in the Knesset. He's uh, from Dagudis Israel. Very, uh, he was he was running to be mayor of Yerushalayim. Uh, he would have been mayor, uh, unfortunately, because of from people and fighting. So at the end, there was this guy near Baraket who's not religious who uh, who became the mayor. Uh, it's just sad to see that from people can't get together. Very special guy. This the the this Polish family. Um, it was uh, years ago. Uh, you could go to the Knesset, and you could, and you can go. And there was a there was a gallery, gallery where you yeah. can see. So first time I was in Israel, I was in Yushalayim, and I went to the gallery, and um, and uh, and uh, Mayor Polish was giving a talk about the Kedusha of Shabbos, and how terrible it is to desecrate the Kedusha of Shabbos, and how they have to uphold the law to keep the Kedusha of Shabbos. Well, it was fascinating. He gave a very good talk. I, what do I know? I'm an amateur. I'm a little bacha yeshiva. I'm listening. He's, he, he spoke well. So uh, that night, I'm in the Tachanah Mekazit. And who do I bump into? Mayor Porush. So I went over and I said, Shalom Aleichem. It was such a nice talk you gave today. Um, I thought the politician, he sees I'm a yeshiva bacha from America. I can't even cast one vote in Israel. No, we got into a discussion. He was just a special guy. Really, really special guy. He knows I have no money to back him. I have no votes to give him. Uh, we had a nice, nice discussion. It was very, very pleasant. Anyway, so uh, so what happened was he felt uh, uh, Polish felt the pressure, and uh, he and he apologized for either he threw the sudder on the ground or he, sp he spat at the sudder. Whatever it was, he apologized. So Wait, the Rebbe, yeah, Polish apologized. So what would he do? Uh, so what happened? happened he do that? You guys suspended. You came late, so you don't know. The oh, problem. okay, fine. Listen right. later to the okay, recording; fine. you'll know. Right. So, so he apologized. So then, 
the Rebbe spoke about it. So now I know why the Rebbe spoke about it, because it was about the law of return. And this was the beginning of the debate about the law of return. And this person stood up for the importance of, of, of having Gil Ka'alacha. And someone stood up and said, oh, well, the reform is also, they could do Gil. Hmm. So he took a sit of reform and he threw it on the floor. He said, they're, they're, they're nothing. They're Apicurses. Or he spat on it, or both. And, uh, and then the Knesset is trying to discipline him and punish him. And so he apologized. So here, read, read what the Rebbe had to say. It's just fascinating. The Rebbe said, if you should have made such a spectacle and done such a thing, I'm not sure. If you ask me to begin with, if that's a good way to do the show, I'm not sure. If you did this already, why? How could you? How could you apologize? It's also to apologize. You're saying that this siddur is meisus a mediach. It's a meisus mediach. You're not allowed to malamets So, um, so, 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 what do you? How could you apologize? How could you apologize? That ever said that uh, that there is someone that wrote an article and he said that this siddur it doesn't have the dinner sefer toyra shakosav min yisarif. The din is in the in the ramapaskas in the film perek aleph alok in gimel. The Sefer Torah was written by Min, you have to burn it. So someone said that well, the Reform Min, Siddur... What's a Min? Titus, a min. So you have to burn it. So someone wrote an article saying that Rabbi Parash was wrong. Why? Alumnus was like this. When do you say Sefer Torah should cause for Min? You have to burn it. If the Min wrote it. But we. But if it was one done through a printing press, printing press has no come on it. Just like with we're machmet, we even printed books, we put in Shamus. But there's a discussion about this. A person didn't write it, so he wasn't Mekadash, he didn't have any intention. It's like the question of the it's the flip side of the machine matzah, right? So uh the 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 the, the machine has no kavona. So how can you call it the say Batoida Shakas for Min? The Rebbe says, I don't understand. The person that wrote this article has Mika. How could he write such Amaratsis? The dinner say Batoida Shakas for Min is a real Sefer Torah, a kosher Sefer Torah. And the mind, the min wrote it. So you have to burn it. So it's a kosher Sefer Torah. It's a 100% kosher Sefer Torah. Ah, because it's written by... It's a 100% kosher Sefer Torah. But the min wrote it, you have to burn it. I, but... I know this all about that Sefer Torah, the Bible of Mina, and that, that the chorus is talking about, but it's not the chorus who does not believe in God. Right, Min usually is someone that doesn't believe in God. Right, but if it's not because, let's say he believes in God, but he doesn't believe in torment of Shemayim. That's a different thing. Okay. So if he believes in God, when he writes the, the Ne, the Shemot, he has come on now that it's, it's, it's a God. Okay, I hear. The Rebbe's point was, however, the 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 what happens if it's a Sefer that's written, that's, the, the Sefer itself is Minus. The Sefer itself is Minus. And even at Tzadik Omar writes it. If the Sefer itself is Minus, you have to burn it. Who, who cares who wrote it? If it's different Minus, the Rebbe said the Reform said that the Din is that a person that uh, takes out from the Siddur the Baruch of Lamal Shinim, the Din is that uh, it's in Shechon Oruch and Simen Kuf Chavav that Chashin and Shemim Minus Nizir Kabay. That's why he took out Baruch Lamal Shinim. The Reform took out of the Siddur the Baruch of Tchis Amesim. Abiyas Mashiach, Gulas Yisrael. Their Siddur is Mola V'Godosh of Minus. So what's the Shaila? It's not a Shaila of a Sefer Torah Shekos V'Min. That's a Kosher Sefer Torah. But the Min, whoever the Min is, wrote it. It's full of Minus in this in this book. Pashtet Tzach. That, it, that, that it's Kal on this, the, 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 the Din of, uh, of, of, of Sefer Torah, that it has to be a sort of. So uh, the Rebbe said, I, I, I can't imagine that uh, a, a from Jew should apologize. Katkhila, to do it or not, that's a separate question if you should do so. And it, how, how often do these people even daven? I don't know. They're even daven to begin with. So it's... And then sometimes, you know, to, to hold away Seamus is, is uh, an expensive proposition. Yeah. Uh, we have in our new property, we have a lot of spot on it. Though. So, uh, you know, sometimes if you end up with a batch of... Uh, you, get of the, you, you, you got it with the building? Yeah. Well, so, what was it before? It was a house? No, no, no. The, 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 the shamus came with a building. Yeah. So, so well, we you have, if you have a batch of of sedurim from uh, that are that are reform, 
So you could chuck them in the garbage. But, you know, very expensive. This, right. that the shame is today. It's very expensive yeah. to haul away. It's, um, what about sukkim that are real? Like if, that, if the reform center has shma as is, do you have to separate those pages? No, no, no. The whole thing. The whole, it's bottled to the, the rest of it. Not bottled. Monosha. Either it's a safe or custom min. If it's no kedusha, you can throw it monosha. The page around the paragraph there. So, yeah. bottom line is that was the story. Now you know the rest of the story. Yeah. Any other, if I can. I will make a copy of the Jerusalem Post article and I'll put it on the uh that I'll put it on to the um to the letter and the Bartoid I send on a Thursday night. Um someone asked an interesting question this week. Someone asked, um, they wake up if they wake up to the bat and they go to the bathroom a few times in the morning. They wake up three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock. They're waking up a few times. And each time they're saying Ashayotza. The question is, should they each time say again Moida'ani? Um, I think the answer is simple. The Moida'ani is a minig that we do instead of the bracha l'kayin shama. The bracha l'kayin shama you say once, just like the bracha mapel you say once, and l'kayin shama you say once. We spoke about it yesterday mm-hmm. when the Rebbe's grandfather that he said that it's like a bracha smuch l'chavata. When you go to sleep, mm-hmm. you say, if that's why l'kayin shama doesn't start with a baruch. We say Borch Ata Hashem Lakin Malachel Mamapel Chevel Hashem Alena Shno Malach Alpai Mir, and then you go on, you go to sleep. When you wake up, you say Lakin Hashem. That's why it doesn't start with a Borch. The Mai we we wash wash our hands. We say Moidaani. So therefore, the Poskim are trying to figure out how to make it a Borch as Mucher Lachavet. So how do we make it? Because we stay Borch Hashem Lakin Malach Shek Chenu Tzeson Alat Tulis Yedoyim, and then Asher Yotzer, and then Lakin Hashem. So it becomes Smucher. We're trying to be mas mechit kol kama de evshe, but according to the Yerushalmi, you don't say you say the brachas of the Yehudim team. Okay, nice. And then you do start with a bottle. Yeah. So then you start with a bottle. Baruch Atah Hashem. Thank you. So, Moidani doesn't make sense to say three, four, five, six times. Sheyotza makes sense. What if you went to sleep in the meantime? What it's like a new guarding of the day. No. We don't find such a thing to be a chiddush gadol. A person takes a nap every time he wakes up from the nap. He and, should say like kind of shama. Now it doesn't example, sound that way. In the example you well, gave, the says Masa Mishinse, just like if a person takes a nap in the middle of the day, doesn't sound like a person should make a mapil before he goes to the nap when he wakes up to say like kind of shama. It just doesn't sound that way. It sounds from the Gemara that you know it's once a day when you go to sleep you say a mapil and you wake up you say like kind of shama. So now. Uh, Moidani is really because we want to say the kind of shama, but it's all shaila. Maybe our hands touched a mockum and uh, that and the hands are not clean, it has to be washed. We want to say Moidani right away. So we we miskak him with this minute to say Moidani. So this says that the Moidani of a Jew never becomes Tome. Uh, it's like Pesach Sheni, it's uh, something very powerful. Moidani of a Jew. Okay, but it- but still the Yesoy the Moidani comes from the Hiv and the Gemara. The minig of saying Maidani comes from the Chiv Alakayin Shama. The saying Alakayin Shama doesn't sound from the Gemara that it's something you do three, four times a day. You can go to sleep, you say a mapa. When you wake up, you say Alakayin Shama. Does it make a difference? To, uh, in the example you gave, three, four in the morning, it could be before I'm on a shocker. Would that fit in 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 the? In the in, no, is that, I don't. Uh, they're just like when a person goes to sleep and wakes up. Uh, maybe some of them you have to wait till. By Modani, like, uh, it's but, three in the morning, and yeah. you woke up three. It's even before I'm on a shaka. You right. still say Modani, yeah. or Lakain the Shama, or Lakain the Shama. So it's Shaman. not based on the yeah. day. Nice and Lasechvi is a Shaila. If you it depends, if you went to sleep, you didn't go to sleep, but uh, I, I think uh, it makes no difference. Okay. Okay. So um, someone asked this week his wife. His wife. Uh, States of wearing a shade, and she's uncomfortable because her hair is too long and she uh, wants to take a haircut. And today's a sweet assignment. And um, and the uh, Shukhnar brings the minik and the uh, Simon Kov at uh, the Gimel not to have a haircut in the days of Sweda, whatever the minik is, whichever days in Sweda, but whatever your minik is, those days of Sweda, you're not supposed to take a haircut. And she's uncomfortable. So what should she do? Now, I was thinking, 
the the emphasis that there's a machloek of svardim ashkenazim for any avelus. If a woman is allowed to cut the hair, the svardim paskin like the mechaber and some in tov tzaddik in hilchas avelus here today. They they say that a woman is chal not after shiva. A woman is allowed to cut her hair. Obviously, the avelus of uh, of uh, the forty nine days or thirty three days is not as strict as this, the avelus of seven days. No loy minei v'loy mikzosi. So for Svardim, for sure, it shouldn't be a problem. Polshkem v'kal v'choymer. But even Ashkenazim, that a machmer, that a moh says that, uh, well, why, why would a man be different? As a shayla, not the sefta, naisa, a girsa, that shouldn't be, why should men and be different? Uh, that should be, the din should be the same. So we're machmer. But, okay. But still, you can rely on the machaber, gabe avelus kala, polshkem the kalshem v'kalam, which is, the, the 49 or 33 days of uh, to, for a woman which is trying to do the mitzvah uh, of covering her hair, which is that's my Shavi Yisrael, which is very important. And now she's uncomfortable to cover her hair because she, her hair is too long. So uh, I think that it's a double posh to be to be makel. I, I looked around, yeah. just wanted to see if any shells should talk about it. Something about, that, if I recall, that yeah. some opinions say that that in terms of shaving, you can shave every Friday afternoon with Kavit Shabbos. Maybe we could... Kavit Shabbos to shave, chas v'shalom. Kavit Shabbos should grow a beard. <laughs> um, utilize, utilizing that, that uh, Hetzer, perhaps um, she does it um, uh, on a Friday, it would be... Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know who this person is, but uh, after after I, uh, I I I looked around and I saw this person has a very nice nice way of breaking it breaking it down. And uh, this is what he writes. This is uh, he's Svardi. He writes the the Um It writes Noigim Shalom L'Stapet at Lag Boimer Vein L'Stapet at Yom Labadal Baboike. So he's saying about women. And Nidal and Yisdaiti, the Yerde Day, Simon Shinsad, exactly the same thing I was thinking. Simon Shinsad, Xifei, that uh, the Machabe says, Ishu Muteris Menatila Sar, Akar Shiva. So, um, and that, and, 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 Mavur Bebe Sirius, and I feel it's a spider should shout in Rosh Kadasa. Horiva Rama, Kane, Kolch came, turned the page, Vimea Oimer, the Avelos Ben Kilt Fay, the Mudler, Shrebi Yerde Day, Possum Ronch, also Little Plan for Shlosh and Mimshalobel, Ain Shum. Vilu bimei oimer kotsa v'rav kaf achayim ganog oilam lahatir netilas aparanim bimei oilam v'gam and adin shori kaf achayim is very very gishmak a sefer he's one of the last svardi poskim in uh, from Baghdad uh, like a generation after the Ben Ishchai it's like on the side of Shachlon it's like sort of what the Mishnah Bru is for for Ashkenazim um, uh, for svardim. I, I love always looking at the Kafechaim. The Kafechaim is very clear. He breaks things down very, very, very clearly. Anyway, so he says that uh, the Kafechaim says that you're allowed to have Natila Sipranam Bimei And that's the common minig. So, so uh, and and still, when it comes to uh, to, to, to Ovel, Sipranam are more machmi, because it's also called Shloshimim. So, Kolchken Yeshloma Mekalchken, the 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 Mabimei Shloshim. Even if you say that the Avelis of the Oymer is a strict as the regular Shloshim, okay, but bottom line is that the uh, Mechabit says after Shiva, a woman could cut her hair, so so even if you're going to make Svidas Ayim as strict as, as Shloshim, oh, she, she could cut her ear. Then he says, I, I, he found from the Pony Meiris. Pony Meiris is a very, very important poisek, at least uh, for sure for Ashkenazim. Is the Rav Eisenstadt uh, 300 uh, years ago, more than 300 years ago. It was seven kehilas that got together to get a big Rav. So um, the Pony Meiris writes, Nishalti Isha im muteris legaleach. He's makel even for a woman in the nine days. He's makel the ponim is makel even the nine days. 
כפשיטה של הדייטה במאיים הימות על איש הרגל הצורן, שכל כך עושה רב מים ממורת חשוב, ואם אין המצורן חומר לנטפי ממי סבירס עומר, שאין הם אסורים, אין באבלס אלא מטרס מינג. There is אבלס that we do in the, day, the days of סבירס עומר, and then there's the days of the nine days. The nine days, the אבלס is much more strict. That's something which the Rabbana put on us, that אבלס, and this אבלס we put on ourselves, מטרס מינג. So if whatever is good for the nine days, it's sure good for the 49 days. And disagrees with him. He says, a woman is not allowed to cut her hair. Says, by the nine days is a machloikis. The, the, the point of me is, says a woman is allowed to take a haircut. No, the Buddha says not allowed to take a haircut. But you have to admit that the days of the nine days are much more strict. That Avelis, Chachamah put on us to observe the Avelis for the Churban Beis Amikdash. Shenken, the, the days, the 33 or 49 days that we're keeping, in Svita, we put on ourselves, but Teres Minig is more makel. So Lachad, everyone would agree it should be muter. Then he brings from the Igris Moshe, Shenish Lobaza, Ve'ish, Shafu B'Shem, Estabar Lahater, Memash, Aposak, Marom, Shuchnaru, like we just said from the Mechabot. Kol shkein l'me'a svira, v'gam shenamo osur. V'dine aveilu su l'yoyde sheshlok l'me'a svira, sh'kimin sh'hu rak minin, v'kol mokim, nidea adin sh'roi l'ach minin, v'ein enoch l'spol kashim. That the Moshe says, only if necessary. If no necessito, then don't do it. Um, bottom line is, in my shayla, uh, which was here, it was necessary, because a woman is trying to wear shaykel, and she's uncomfortable, so... Told us not a problem to cut the hair. Okay, I want to really to talk today about the shiurim, but it's late. Blineder, well, and, uh, yeah, we'll get to someday, it someday. Um, uh, um, uh, are we going to have Slok a regular shear? Um, to next the, Sunday. Yeah, next year. Say the the parade, parade, Eleven o'clock. Whoever would plan. like to sit with us at the parade should let us know. Mm-hmm. You can have a seat, but you so have to let us know. The shear will not be next Sunday. No. Mm-hmm. The, the shear will be under the banner when you march. Yeah, <laughs> we're marching. So we'll bring sheets. Yes, we're yeah, bringing maybe banners. Maybe join us. A lot of people should join the shear while we're marching, and then <laughs> and then everyone is invited to go to the Tzion Hakadosh to the oil the Rebbe, and then from there to go to Riverhead for to, to sing by your guy. We get traffic plan early. It's going to be gefarlicha traffic. It's nothing to plan. Uh, you get yeah. together a list of people with cars with this so that I can ask around. I don't know what it is. So what I'm gonna, can you, can Are you going to go? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go, but I, I'm probably going to stop by my six. So we're fine. So we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah. But you have a car and you yes. go to the farm. Yes, I'm going to go to the farm. Okay, so, so that's the sure. schedule. Hopefully we'll have beautiful no, weather like today. Thank you all. Yep. I'm not sure if I can take no washouts. And we should have hopefully good weather. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, hopefully I'm, we'll I'm, be marching I'm, with Mashiach Tzitkane. Amen, amen. Okay. And I missed a I sent you a question. I'll talk to my... So I can only know. It's not easy. Collects coins. What? Oh, 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 did you not? Sorry. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt it's problematic. But um, oh, well, what should I just look at picture? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Family, yeah. Family, 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 people with the yeah. placement yeah. from medieval. Uh, okay. Six hundred, six hundred. Yeah, I'm very. I hear. Right here. I, I, I was going to guy. I was going to. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. you like right, right now? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so later. Okay. How is Sasson feeling? I saw Sasson doing well. I don't know. I just saw that he wasn't feeling well. Yeah. I don't know more than that. Here we are. Here we are. So I'm happy he's feeling better. Was it a heart attack? Oh, no. It we can say, Atzlok, Atzlok, whoever's joining us. Yeah.